So let's just say that you want a ton of power and over a thousand pound feet of torque, but you don't want to pay 90 grand for it. This is going to be the truck for you. This is a 2020 Ford F350 S. TX. So it's essentially kind of like your entry level truck if you just want a truck to do truck stuff. As always, we're going to do a quick walk around on the truck, then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. A big shot and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the STX. Check out their inventory in the link below. Under the hood here, we have the 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel, obviously made by Ford. Goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. In terms of power outputs, it's now 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. Now let's finish things up on the front end. You still get those nice muscular bulges at the top of the hood, still says Super Duty there, but then again, it's body paint, so you can't really see it. This has the regular halogen bulbs in the front. You get chrome grill accenting. You have the chrome bumpers with the tow hooks. No fancy LED lights or anything like that. Just keeping it all functional here on the STX. But here's one more look at the front end of the truck. Coming around to the side here, we've got the tire and rim setup. 18 inch rims on 275 millimeter tires. Pretty standard setup for a truck. When you do like a baseline truck, obviously the luxury truck or luxury trucks usually have 20 inch rims. But anyways. We've got the F350 badging there, STX badging, 6.7 liter power stroke, and then you got the big tow mirrors, and then here's kind of like a look at the side, and then you will note that this has the longer bed. Here's the key fob for the STX. You got a couple functions, your unlock and your lock, and then obviously the panic button, and then it is a flip out key. This particular STX doesn't have remote start, but I found something out that's pretty interesting. I've got keys to another STX and this one does have remote start. So this is a 250 that I'm doing a separate video on. But as you can see, that one has remote start. So it looks like, ah, it won't turn off now. But anyways, it looks like you can get remote start as an option now. Coming up to the tailgate, we can lower it down. It is not slow lowering or anything like that. This one does not have a bed liner, but obviously you can get it. Got some plug-ins there for towing. Um, no LED bed lights or anything. Notice that they just kind of like these like little plastic things over where the bed lights would be. This one does have a fifth wheel prep that is covered by this uh, white stuff that you throw at people. Um, but other than that, this is the longer bed. And I mean, you can see it's just absolutely massive. And then coming up to the tailgate, no you know step system or anything like that. So the tailgate's super light to lift up and it's super easy to put into place. It's kind of like your three quarters angle on the truck. It says four by four there on the side. And then you can see the light back here is absolutely massive. I mean, here's my hand against it. It's just gigantic. Now, got the Super Duty logo back there, Ford, and you got the plugins for towing. And then you can see the receiver hitch just down below, kind of like a close up on that. And then other than that, things honestly are super simple in the back. Now I've got our cap here. This is for the diesel, that is for the DEF. Pretty simple system to put it in. Now coming to the back door, look at the panel here in the rear. Most of this, obviously since this is supposed to be a work truck, is gonna be kind of like the um, hard touch plastic or like the rubberized plastic right here. One of the speakers for the sound system. And then here are the seats in the back. Now they're kind of like the um, cloth, which this is gonna be really easy to clean off, but obviously it's not gonna be the uh, plushest and most comfortable. Back right there, we've got a little charging station, rubber floor mats all across, again, just for functionality. And then there's storage space under the seat, no like little bucket things or anything like that, just keeping it all nice and simple. But here's one more look at the rear. Oh, just kidding. So we've got the mirrors right here, gigantic trailer mirrors, definitely show a ton of stuff. Now actually opening up the door panel here in the front. It's gonna look identical to the rear. Again, you've got the plastic and then kind of like the rubberized plastic right here. All that kind of stuff all throughout. Window controls, mirror controls, door lock and unlock. Another speaker for the sound system. The seats are gonna be manually adjustable. We'll get into that in a second, but here's the seats. Again, same material as the Back seats, it's not gonna be the softest, not gonna be the most comfortable, but again, it's gonna be functional and obviously be easy to clean. This is for the adjustment on the seat and then the front adjustment. So it takes you back to like 2005. Anyways, got the little hood release right there, parking brake. Light controls are up here, get your little cargo light and then the steering wheel is gonna be manually adjustable. And here's one more look. Now I've got the key fob here. Again, flip out key fob. Now I just gotta put it in, twist it. And then just like you had to do in the past, since it doesn't have a push button, you gotta wait for the diesel preheat to happen if it's not warmed up. 
This truck is already warmed up though, so we're good to go. You just gotta start it up and it comes right to life. Here's the steering wheel in the truck. We can zoom in. You got the Ford logo right there. Volume controls, voice command controls, the phone controls, cruise control on the other side, and then that is for the center stack. And then the steering wheel, um, no stitching or anything like that, obviously, because it's supposed to be like a work truck. Um, but the steering wheel, just feel-wise, a little bit more on the abrasive side. Now I've got the stock there for the turn signal and then the light controls. And then this is actually for your drive modes and then also to shift the gears yourself on that 10 speed automatic. Here's our gauge cluster RPMs on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed and then you got all those gauges at the top right there. And then you can kind of scroll through a couple different menus. This is what it looks like on the base model Ford. So it's not as fancy as what's on like a Lariat or a Platinum, for example. But I mean, it still gives you pretty much uh, most of the same info, just kind of like the uh, necessities for what you're gonna be looking at on the truck. Before I move any further in the interior, I did forget to show these stickers. So you can freeze the video if you wanna see that information right there. And then this information down here, which the gross vehicle weight rating on this one's 12,400. So quite a bit more on the plat compared to what the uh, Platinum was that I just drove. Got our diesel exhaust right there, stability control, hazard light, and then the camera system, which we're gonna press that first. This basically pops up the camera that is in the front of the truck and a bird's eye view. And yeah, that's it. But that's still quite a bit um, for a truck. I mean, you can see you got front camera right there. You got kind of like all the angles. And I mean, I'm really impressed um, just how many cameras this has because this is again supposed to be like a base model truck and for having as much camera system technology as it has for being the entry level package super super impressive now with the rest of the touchscreen there's not a ton happening here you get your regular bluetooth um, you can do your phone controls all that kind of stuff no massaging seats or anything like that um, response time is just like all of the other sync systems for the 2020 model year controls for the radio Climate controls, it is a single zone climate. No heated seats, no heated steering wheel, none of that stuff. You do get a little charging station just over here so you flip up that little tab. This is your drive mode select, so you got your axle lock in the back. Two wheel high, four wheel high, and then four wheel low. Trailer brake controls. And this one has a trailer backup system, which again, I'm pretty impressed that a base model truck has that feature. Cup holders at the top, and then opening up the center console, you can see there's a little space. And then this obviously does double as a seat, so you can pick up the seat and then I'm seeing if there's any storage underneath, which there is. Got a little bit of storage in that area. And there's actually some charging stations down right there that you guys can see that I missed. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can throw it back down. And then it's a seat again, or sorry, not a seat, a center console. This one still has the dual golf box. So it says Super Duty at the top and it's got the two different tiers. So plenty of storage space within this F-350. Now up top, you got the little sensors here, which Again, it's a pretty nice feature to have if someone obviously gets in the truck, it'll set off the alarm and all that kind of stuff. And then the auxiliary switches, um, they're already come with the truck. So like if you want to add like a snow plow, lights, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. And then you got a little sunglass holder, the light controls. And then the headliner in this is obviously lighter in color. So it actually kind of matches the rest interior because you do have lighter colors on the seats and all that. So it makes sense that the headliner is not black. Now, after going everything on the interior, I'm sure all of you are wondering well, how much does this cost? Because it seems like it would be pretty expensive since it has the camera system, trailer backup system, all that kind of stuff. And it looks actually pretty reasonably priced for a diesel truck. So this particular STX stickers for about $61,000 before any type of market adjustment, which for a diesel long bed truck with the camera system that it has and all that kind of stuff, I feel like that's all a pretty good value. That all being said though, let's take this STX out to see how it drives. Now we're about to set off in the F-350 STX and let's look at visibility quickly. So visibility of the hood, it's just obstructed by a little bit of snow through both those mirrors and they're just massive. So you can see literally everything and then you can see visibility all throughout the rest of the rear. And I hope you guys didn't think that, you know, by me saying that the truck, you know, all the base model stuff, I think that's really special. And we'll kind of talk about it in the driving portion, but yeah, let's set off. Now, initially setting off, sorry that the uh, view got obstructed, but a bunch of snow kind of <laughs> fell off of the uh, roof of the truck and is now in the way a little bit. Um, but initially starting off, 
Again, ride quality feels identical to the Limited and the Platinum that I recently drove. Definitely smoother than the Dually, but I mean, in terms of heavy duty trucks, Ford has done an amazing job with making this a smooth driving truck. Now you can see the steering here too. Really light and effortless. I mean, it just goes right into place with the steering. Really easy to drive. And now in terms of the sound, you hear it quite a bit from the power stroke, but I mean, in terms of tire noise, wind noise, all that kind of stuff, it's actually pretty limited. And again, you can see the steering here, pretty direct, um, but I mean, it's super light. Like I just don't even have to try and hopefully I can figure out how to get the snow out of the way so that, uh, or actually it's probably gonna fly up the window when I accelerate now that I think about it. And now we're gonna get an acceleration here with the F350 STX. Yep, there we go. Now the snow's out of the way. Um, yeah, just like the Limited, just like the Platinum, this has a massive amount of power. I can't even get traction really when I floor it, which for a heavy duty truck is crazy because I mean, the same thing cannot be said for the Duramax or for the Cummins to an extent. I mean, the Duramax is close, but the Cummins, yeah, definitely not so much power that it starts spinning the tires like crazy. Stock, let me, let me make sure to stock, a stock truck. Now to sum things up on this F350 STX, if you're in the market for a heavy duty truck that you wanna to do towing and hauling with, obviously this long bed's gonna help out with that. But again, trucks have become so complicated with all of the luxury features that they have and all this kind of stuff. And if you don't wanna pay for, on the Ford for example, literally $30,000 worth of bells and whistles, then just don't and get this and it has all the same functionality it actually tows more because the truck doesn't weigh as much from all the leather and all that kind of stuff so yeah if you want a really good functional truck check out the stx with the power stroke and again like i said in the beginning if you want a truck with all of the functionality but you don't want to pay for all the bells and whistles this 2020 stx is definitely gonna be the route to go again a big shout out and thank you to the larry h miller ford lincoln here in provo utah for providing us with the stx check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for new Ford. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see all of you in that next video.